Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on those of you Gen Geminis who are currently in a no contact situation with your person. I'll take a look at what's going on with your person, what their current feelings are for you, and what actions will they be taking towards you moving forward. We'll see if they will end up contacting you or not. All right. Let's get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me. For those of you, for those Geminis who are currently in a no contact situation, what's, cur what's currently going on with this person? What are their current feelings for Gemini? And what actions will they be taking towards Gemini moving forward? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, first card we have is the Tower. We also have the Two of Swords. And we also have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Wands with the Four of Wands. And the Page of Swords. All right, what's going on here? Let's see. Okay. So I do feel like this person has been watching you and spying on you um, with the Page of Swords, Gemini. Now with the Tower card, it just, it kind of looks like there was some sort of bad breakup, bad separation between the two of you. This could also represent a bad fight or argument or disagreement that caused um, things to kind of fall apart between the two of you. And caused you to separate from them. So I feel like this is how they're viewing you with the Two of Swords. This person feels like you are intentionally avoiding them, intentionally blocking them, refusing to communicate with them because you're upset with them or angry at them over whatever it is that happened here between the two of you, whatever it is that blew up, because this is kind of like an explosion. Whatever blew up or blew out of control between the two of you. I feel like this person has been holding back the urge to come looking for you and come chasing after you with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Wands. Um, this person still wants this relationship with you, but they don't want to chase you or they don't want you to see them chasing you. to view them as a, as a chaser. So I do feel like ego is at play here. I feel like this person is trying to like um, portray a certain image here or a specific image of someone who is not thinking about you, someone who's not worried about you. You know, someone who is minding their own business and they're not watching you or spying on you or anything of that sort. All right, let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Clarify the Page of Swords. I do feel like eventually this person will um, get out of their ego and forget about this image that they're trying to portray here. Um, and I feel like they are going to pursue you to try to bring this relationship back together again. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Ooh, interesting, Ace of Pentacles. 
I feel like this is the reason why this person is going to end up stepping out of their ego and pursuing you because they do see you as someone who's extremely valuable to them with the Ace of Pentacles. This relationship is a very, is a very valuable relationship to them and for them. And they don't want to lose it because they know that replacing someone like you or replace, or replacing this type of relationship that they have with you, this type of connection that they have with you, they feel like it's going to be very, very hard for them to do that. So because of that, I do see them, um, like I said, stepping out of their ego. To try to make things right with you, even if they don't feel like they did anything wrong. Because I am getting that. I feel like this person feels like they didn't do anything wrong. Or like it wasn't really their fault. Or it wasn't just their fault. Um, but... Because they don't want to lose you, I feel like this person's going to avoid um, disagreements with you or further disagreements with you. They're going to try to try to just kind of settle things with you and create peace with you and have balance with you. Yeah, this kind of feels like the energy of, you know what, Gemini, you're right, Gemini. I feel like that's what they're thinking or what, the, what they're going to say. Like, you're right, Gemini, you're right, you know. You know, it was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. Or, you're right, I don't have any excuse. Or, there is no justification for me. You're right to be angry at me. You're right to um, be upset with me. You're right to block me. You know, but can we just, you know, can we just settle things? Can we just agree to disagree? Or can we just um, forget about it and start over again? I feel like that's their energy. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, we have the Nine of Cups, which is all about wish fulfillment. So this person looks at you as their wish fulfillment. Again, this person feels like um, you're very special to them. You're very um, valuable to them. They feel a very strong emotional connection to you. Um, they recognize that you're someone who is going to be hard to replace. So, again, because of that... They're not interested in continuing to fight with you or argue with you or have disagreements with you. They'd rather just, you know, let you have the win, so to speak. Yeah, it's like let you have the win. Let me see what's going on with you. Tell me about the um, the Four of Swords spirit. Oh, well, there. That makes sense. Here we have the Queen of Wands. No wonder I said let you have the win. Uh, Queen of Wands is a very competitive person. Queen of Wands always wins. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender. Yeah, Queen of Wands always wins. It's not, not a good idea to challenge the Queen of Wands. Um, you're going to end up losing one way or, or another. Queen of Wands always has the upper hand at the end of the day. 
And it's because this person's very attractive um, and this is what's representing you, Gemini. So, you know, you're someone who's very attractive. You're someone who attracts people and, and opportunities to you very easily. So they might find it hard to replace you, but you won't find it hard to replace them. And that's just how it goes with um, the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands has an abundance of opportunities surrounding them at all times. So they will easily dispense of you and, and find a replacement for you. Because the Queen of Wands doesn't really need anyone, doesn't really depend on anyone. Queen of Wands is happy, whole, and complete all on their own, you know. Very independent person, very um, self-driven person. So, yeah, you won't have any problem um, you know, discarding of this person if they don't, if they don't come towards you with respect. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands is also very intelligent, so mm, you know, I feel like. The Queen of Wands tends to always kind of win in the end in regards to um, in regards to conflict, problems, drama, issues. Queen of Wands always tends to win and end up on top. But that's because they're usually right, you know? Again, Queen of Wands is very intelligent, like and very perceptive and very intuitive. So, you know, they always end up winning because they, they always tend to be right about what they're doing or what they're saying, you know? It's like they have a clear vision. Queen of Wands has a natural, has a natural, sorry, natural clear vision. that other people don't have. So this person is in this energy of, I'm just gonna tell Gemini that they're right, but I think they're telling you that you're right because you are right. But I don't think this person sees it necessarily that way. <laughs> I think this person has a lot of ego, so in reality, they think they're right but again, because this person does see you as someone who they want and need to a certain extent, um, they're not going to they're not going to continue um, giving you reasons to block them or or shut them out. They're going to cooperate with you. Yeah. It's almost like you're a queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles. It's almost like you're a queen of wands, queen of pentacles person. Like, because I'm getting that if it were any other person, they wouldn't do this. You know, they wouldn't step out of their ego. But because it's you um, and they know you are, and they know you're someone hard to replace, they're, they're willing to do that. In order for them to not lose you. Tell me about the tower. <clears throat> All right, so we have the three of wands. So currently there might be um, physical distance between the two of you, or this could just represent emotional distance because you have cut this person off. You um, cut off communication with them. You're blocking them. So 
Yeah, three of wands basically just represents that distance between the two of you. All right, let's take a deeper look at their intentions. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's true intentions with Gemini? What do they truly want with Gemini? Oh, okay. So we have strength card. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like they want all your... Um, everything you have to give. It's like they want all, all of you. They want your validation, they want your attention, but they also want your, um, your nurturing energy, your loving energy, your caring energy, your protective energy. Tell me more about what this person's true intentions are and what they want with Gemini. So we have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does that mean? Communication. And the Five of Wands. Yeah, here we go again with that conflict energy. Interesting. So um, this is a little bit like the same message I just said with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands. They, they just want to settle things with you. They want to open up the lines of communication between the two of you again. Um, I'm getting like a Libra energy here, um, like the Justice card with the Ace of Swords. This person really hates telling you that you're right. <laughs> I feel like they really hate it. I feel like they really hate telling you that you're right and, you know, um, giving you the win, giving you the victory. Hmm. But they feel like they have no choice. Again, they're looking at you as um, someone of high value. This is the Empress, by the way. P person in the strength card is the Empress. Yeah, this person, this person has a lot of ego and a lot of immaturity energy in them. Um, And they're very kind of, I'm getting a codependency energy from them too. They, they feel at this point, they feel codependent off of you. They feel like they need you. They feel like they can't, they can't not have this relationship in their life. It just makes them feel too good with the nine of cups. It makes them feel too good. So they uh, actually, I want to see what the, ooh, hold on. Look at that. The moon card at the bottom of the deck with the three of swords. Well, well, well. And the ten of wands. I told you, yeah, it's like this, per this person hates um, giving you the reason. Um, is that how you say it in English? Giving you the reason, like giving you the win giving you the victory, they hate that, giving you the upper hand. I mean, they're not giving you the upper hand, but just, you know, um, allowing you to have the upper hand over them, not retaliating, not rebelling, not challenging you in return. They hate not doing that. But they feel like if they were to do that, they're going to suffer consequences that they don't want to suffer. Yeah, with the moon and the three of swords. I feel like they're in this energy. If I, if I challenge Gemini, if I go against Gemini, 
you know, if, if I try to like, you know, fight back with Gemini, I'm going to suffer consequences that, are, that might be long-term and that I don't want to suffer or deal with. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I feel like this person is acknowledging that they're going to end up on the losing end, not you. So this person is like swallowing their ego and their pride is what I'm getting. <laughs> Lord. Okay. All right. What's the outcome here, spirit? What's going to end up happening between Gemini and this person moving forward? What's the outcome between them? In the outcome, we do have the hangman. Tell me more. We also have the nine of pentacles in the outcome. We also have the judgment card in the outcome at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. Well, Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. Hierophant to the High Priestess and the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords and the Emperor and the Four of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on here. Hold on. All right. So with Temperance and what is this? Nine and Eight is Ace, Ace of Pentacles. Temperance and judgment, there definitely could be a second chance happening here between you and this person or in this relationship between the two of you, um, a second chance or a, um, another chance, um, a rebirth, so to speak, a new beginning. Hmm. I feel like your priorities have changed, though, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This almost feels like the energy of, yeah, sure, I'll keep you around for now. I don't think you're telling them that, though. <laughs> I feel like you're in this energy of, sure, I'll have a new beginning with you, or sure, I'll, um, I'll talk to you again. I'll allow communication to happen between us again. You know, um... But, you know, I'll see you when I see you because my main focus and priority is my work, my career, my business, my money, my personal growth. That's my main priority and my main focus. So in regards to this relationship, it's kind of like an energy of I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> That's not really a relationship, so... It just kind of looks like you'll you'll keep this person like hanging around. But you won't really be dedicating too much time and energy into them or or your relationship with them. What's going to happen afterwards, um spirit? Where is this where is this leading to or heading towards? What's going to happen after? King of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Well, this person is going to feel neglected and abandoned, basically. Hmm. Yeah, basically. We do have the King of Wands. It's almost, it's almost like they, you know, they're going to get what they want in regards to reconnecting with you, but not really because you're barely going to show up. 
you're barely going to um, be interacting with them or talking to them. You're going to be more busy and focused on, on your work. So they're going to inevitably feel like they're getting half of you. If, if, if that, if even, if even that, basically. Okay. Um, so things are looking up for you, Gemini, though, with the Wheel of Fortune. This is basically telling me that you will um, be experiencing an increase in your money, your status, your career, your work, things are just going to level up for you as you move forward. Okay. All right, Gemini. So I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it made sense to you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.